Okay, so now I have my blank slate that I'm going to start with, and I'm going to explain to you how to use the little edit button here. It's like a little pencil or pen. We call it edit page button. And again, this is your area to work with on your page, and you can change that from this simple layout, or what they call one column simple, to a two column simple, three column simple. Uh, I would recommend looking into these one column, two column, three column is what I probably use most often. It gives you a header to work with and columns. And for organization of especially images, you're going to want to have smaller spaces to organize them in. And that will allow you to keep them more organized and look like it's, it's better formatted. That's uh, kind of one of the downfalls of this is that you're not doing the specific coding of the site. So sometimes it's hard to get it to look exactly the way you want it to. But as I indicated in class, and I'll show you real quick again, on my Coach Hertel web page, when you look at the page here, you'll see that this is actually two columns here that I've organized this into. Uh, you can't actually see the, the lines in between them, but that's how I kind of have all this in a line, and then all of these things over here stay in a line. If, if I was just using a, a, just one area there, it would be a lot harder to do that. Okay, so that's the layout button that's kind of getting you started there. And then across the top here, you can change your font. Obviously, you can go back and forward. You can change your font. Um, you can change your font size. You can bold italics, kind of like a Word document underline. Change your text color. Change the background of your right behind your text. Uh, and this is probably the most important button up here, the one that I use most often, the link button, as I explained in class. And you can type something like debtnews.com, and you simply highlight that, click the link button, and because that's already a web link, it automatically web links it, and it'll take you to that website, as I showed you in class. I'm not going to go through all showing you how to do that again. But what you can also do is you can type something like, if I wanted it to say Detroit News, instead of thatnews.com, I can highlight that, click the link button, switch from sites page. Now, if you're linking to a page that's already within your page, you can select it right from here. But when you're sending it to an external website, you have to click over to web address. And here I can just type thatnews.com and say OK. And now I have that text linked to the Detroit News. Okay, so that's uh, that linking feature is very important. And so if you're looking to link your documents, that's how you would do that. And so I'll, I'll show you that really quick because that's that's really an important thing. And I didn't talk a lot about that in class, but what you're ultimately going to be doing here is you find here I have this sample document that I created earlier for the purposes of doing this. You can see it's very complex writing that I've done, but it's just a sample that I've done for the purposes of showing how you're sharing these things. You go up to the share icon as you've already done with many of your assignments and you've shared them with me and hopefully you've also gone in to the advanced as I just clicked on and gone to change to anyone with a link. Now be careful, you don't want anyone at Boyne City Public Schools you want anyone with the link for the purposes of this assignment and my grading of it, you'll select that and you'll save it. And then you'll copy this link right here when you're done here. And then you come back over to your web page. And if you want, and let's say that that's off, call it my sample paper that I wrote. Okay. And so whatever I want to call that, title of that, I will then highlight it and click the link. Now again, because it's not on my web page, I have to go to web address, and I've already copied that document's address, and I say OK, and now I have that linked to that document. So now I'll save it and show you what it does. When I click on that, it will take me to that document. You can see. And what's really cool about it is any changes that I make on that document will automatically show up when I open them on the web page. I don't have to redo it in any way. I don't have to relink it or anything. Anytime I change the document, it automatically changes when I open on the open it on the web page. Okay? 
So that's one of the features that I really like about Google Sites and Google Docs and how they work together. And you might say, well, where did that go? For some reason, it always reverts back for a second, but if you refresh it, it's there, and it should be there now from forever until I change it, which I will do right now. So I will delete that. The other option would be, instead of linking your documents, you can go to Insert, and then go to Drive, and select Document. And then in here, you can search your documents. So I'm going to find that sample document. And then I can save that. And again, like I showed you in class, I can make adjustments to the way that I have that formatted. Right now, since I have it in a single column, I'm just going to leave it like that. And I actually am probably going to want to change my layout just to make it look decent here to a one column. That'll look a lot better. And uh, it's centered. Uh, or I thought it was centered. Oh, I'm over here. Okay. Now, this should be centered, and it is. And I'll save it. And so now you can see that that sample document is more embedded in the page. And that's your preference of which you would prefer. Okay, the look of whether you want to link them or you want to embed them. All right, and so more things on the edit page. I uh, will go ahead and, again, you can go back to your gear to change things if you want to or you can delete it from right there and I'll just do that for now and then in here you can insert images um, it's another way to insert a link you can put a table of contents which I've never done but you can do that There's some other things here text boxes calendars you can uh, put in YouTube videos but again with your videos you probably want to use your drive you can do drawings and images so anything you upload to your drive Basically, you can you can insert things through that way. So you can insert and uh, upload images to your drive, and you can have access to them right from there if you want to. Your videos, um, any of your presentations that you've done, like your that's another thing that you can put on here is your Google slideshow that you did earlier this year. Um, so anyway, there's there's a lot of um, options in the insert category, and you can do tables, again, you can change your layout, all those kinds of things. Okay, so that's the basics of the edit page button.